Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come visit and check out my video. And we're here at Mount Panorama with the AMG Evo. Again, another car I really like. Um, it's just a great, does everything great. Um, and uh, something, I love the sound of it also. And I love this livery. You got the little stormtrooper there in the in the quarter back there in the glass there. I think that's so cool. <laughs> But, yeah, I love this delivery. Really cool looking. Um, and I had a, somebody, I had a person ask for a request for the setup here at Mount Panorama. So um, I've been working on it. I actually had it started, but I had to, you know, again, go through the hot stand. I got a 30. So this is tested. This is a really good setup. Um, probably one of the fastest, if not the fastest so far from what I've seen. And it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> Um, and I got a lot of fuel too. I started with over 90 liters because obviously with the AMG, the one negative is it, you have to carry a lot of fuel. It does burn a lot of fuel, you know, to make horsepower, you got to burn fuel. So that's one of the negative things. And, um, so you got to carry extra fuel. So I, I, with here, um, I wanted to carry like, just kind of like the Lamborghini. I wanted to be over 90 liters. So to get kind of a, to see, to tune it properly and not tune it and then somebody had to put a bunch of fuel on it and it's like what the heck this thing is not you know so that's basically what I was, I was wanting to make sure that it was still handling okay with a bunch of fuel and stuff like that and especially here because you can bottom out and hit things and then it upsets the car um, so we'll go over a few laps and then we'll go over to the setup at the end like normal and of course I'll put a link to the setup in the description and um, of course I have a PayPal link in the description also if anybody wants to help support the channel I appreciate it everybody that has uh, thank you so very much, and uh, let's jump in the car. And if you saw the Bentley video, it's a lot of it is pretty similar to that, except for a few places. Um, you know, obviously the same places, you know, curbs, you don't want to hit, you don't want to hit in this. Um, the gears are just a little bit different, so that's the only difference. Other than that, I was super happy with it. it. You know, it doesn't drive as easy as the Bentley, but you know, this is. This, I did get a better time. You got to drive it a little more, but that's just the AMG. Same thing here. Down to first. Hold it in. Let it. Go out wide a little bit. Turn it in a little early every time. Just sometimes near the end of the stand, you might have to turn it in even a little bit more as the front tires wear. You know, it's just not going to react as quick. You know, lift a little bit there. Sometimes I lift a little. I lift a little here. Same braking. Don't go in too deep here. I almost wrecked once. I went too in too deep. There, I do not go down to first. I stay in second. That's one big difference with the Bentley. I can go down to first. I don't in the AMG because it'll throw you sideways. But going down to first here really helps a lot going around this corner. So it's really, really good there. Great speed right there with everything else. That was a 202.44. That was my fast lap. I'm really happy with that. And you can still see I still had 78 liters on board. So it's still you know, a good amount of fuel. Let's jump to the last lap. That's what I was really, almost really happy about over just the pace and not just the fast lap. This thing has got, uh, it was, very, very consistent. We'll, you'll see here at the end of this lap, 
Very happy with that. I haven't checked the wear on the tires or anything, but hopefully they should be good because it sure acted that way. Normal wear because it, it wasn't it just teeny bit understeer here at the end. But, you know, again, I'm just throwing in a little bit of brake bias and it would actually take it right back up again. So... Very steady, especially for the 30 minute hot stint, you know, 30 minutes. Love the AMG, love the looks, the sound. It's a great car overall. 174, that's that's right exactly the same as the Huracan. And probably a couple mile an hour faster than the Bentley. That was a 202.70. So he's, you know, 2.44 to a 202.70. I mean, that's two and a half tenths. That I mean, that's crazy from the fast lap to the to the last lap after 30 minutes. Two and a half tenths. I mean, I really, really like that. And um, it, it shows that it can take as much consistency as, as how good you are. I mean, obviously, I need to improve a lot. But um, the car is there. So let's go to the garage. Let's look at the timetables. There's the timetables there. And like I said, the third lap was my fast lap. Mostly 202s, some really low 203s, um, and some high t and a lot of high 202s. Um, so, again, I think it's really good. Um, and I, I, if you put all the fast sectors together, it should have been a 202.2 something, which... I did in practice run a 202.32 or a two, something like that or a two no I'm not been faster than that that was a 202.25 or something like that but I did run faster than this in practice but that's okay I mean you know I'll, I'll take all that consistency that's all right um, I did have to change it a teeny bit so and that's we'll go over that um, so that might be some of the difference just small adjustments because it was it was getting too loose after about 15 minutes so I had to re readjust it so let's go over to setup 26.2 left front 26.4 left rear 25.3 right front and 26.1 right rear the toes negative 0 0.03 on the front with the camber at negative 3 on the front and 10.1 is the caster on the rear the toe is 0 0.05 with the camber at negative 2.7 Electronics, I had at four and five. You could go up to five um, if you had a longer stint, but I just I didn't change that at all. Fuel, I had 92 liters. That's how much I had was 92 liters. I had a light flat spot here on the left. That's it. Must have been locking up somewhere. I must have locked up maybe going down in that bowl part for the, the straightaway. Um, but there's no graining or nothing. No graining or anything. Just one little flat spot there on the left side. And look at the wear. 263, 262. I mean, look at that. Even that's not real bad. I mean, that's, I mean, 30 minutes, and that's not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm happy with that. Mechanical, we've got 7 on the anti-roll bar, 61 on the brake bias, 12 on the steering ratio. The springs are 143,000 with a bump stop rate of 900 and a bump stop range of 5. Now, on these springs, you can go up 1. Um, I really didn't see much of a difference so either here or you can go up to 155,000 and try that and see how you like the front end feel. Um, I didn't really feel 
uh, very little difference. Um, so you might like it one over the other. So again, um, performance-wise, I don't see that big a difference. But again, just in case anybody wants to try it. And then on the rear, the springs are 119,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 20. Any roll bars two, and the preload on the diff is 50. Shocks on the front are 5389, and on the rear they're 5376. Arrow got 46 in the front, 72 in the rear with an eight rear wing, a five splitter, and a three and a two and a brake ducts. Now the rear wing, or not rear wing, the rear ride height I did have at 74, um, but in it was really good, but the problem was, is after about 15 minutes, it basically um, was got too loose and looped it. So I knocked it down a little bit, and that might be what's costing a little bit of time. I mean, you can try it on a qualifier. You might want to go up to 74 and try it, but basically, I mean, me, I'd probably just leave it alone and just go with less fuel and just let it go. And just let it eat. Um, that's just me, because there's definitely a lot of performance there. I mean, if you if you really trying to if you have the time to try it, then yeah, you could you know put a se go up to 74 and with less fuel and see if it'll work. But um, again, it's got really good speed, really good balance, and of course I was looking for a good overall race setup, and I think that's what it is. So I sure hope you give me a thumbs up. And I sure hope you subscribe to the channel. All those things help. And and they all support the channel. I mean, that's all those things support the channel. Whether you're watching the whole video, um, giving me a like, subscribing, sharing. All those things are, support the channel, and I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, also, of course, just like a donation to PayPal. That's a that's a supporting the channel also. So all those things, I just want to say thank you very, very much. And um, I sure hope any you leave any comment or feedback, and I sure hope the setup works good for you, um, and you can run a personal best, or you do good in your league, or uh, whatever race that you're doing in. And I hope you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.